Many of us have a set of binoculars, but we're told to never ever use them to look at the sun. That's right, of course, but you can use binoculars to project an image of the sun in order to see sunspots, a solar eclipse, and planetary transit, such as the transit of Venus. All you need are a few household items. A pair of binoculars, of course, a tripod or stack of books, duct tape, scissors or a box cutter, two pieces of cardboard. Remember, it's extremely dangerous to look at the sun. You can badly burn your retina, causing permanent vision loss. It's even worse to look at the sun through any kind of magnifying lens. You can even burn your hands with binoculars by focusing light onto them. So, with this setup, we only want to project an image of the sun. We're never going to look through the binoculars or put hands or other body parts in the path of the light. Here's how to do it. Trace around your binoculars lenses on your piece of cardboard and cut out the circles. Next, attach your binoculars to a tripod. If your binoculars don't have a mounting point for the tripod, use duct tape to attach them. And if you don't have a tripod, just lean binoculars up against a stack of books or other solid, stable objects. Angle them so that the large lenses point up towards the sun. Look at their shadow on the ground or wall or any other flat surface. Move the binoculars around until their shadow is as little as possible. The smaller the shadow, the more directly aligned they are to the sun. Now, place your cardboard cutout around the binoculars. This will give you a nice shadowed observing area. Next, cover one of the large lenses so that your image of the sun isn't doubled. Now, when you hold up your second piece of cardboard about a foot behind the binoculars, you can see an image of the sun. Focus the binoculars until the sun's edge sharpens. During a solar eclipse, you'll see the shadow of the moon slowly pass in front of the sun, obscuring the sun's light. And during the transit of Venus, you'll see the tiny bead of the planet slowly cross the solar sphere. A few more safety tips. Don't leave the binoculars focused on the sun for more than a few minutes because the eyepiece can become overheated. And don't leave the setup unattended because the binoculars could either burn the paper target or someone could walk behind them and be badly burned themselves. So stick around. And if you want to look at the sun for longer, just remember to give your binoculars a cooling break now and then. I'm Natalie Walchover for Life's Little Mysteries. Happy sun watching.